on high. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. This is a collective reading, so please, please remember it may not resume, resonate. Resonate. <laughs> Get a resume. Some of you are maybe starting a new job or updating your resume. That's why I said resume. <laughs> I really am blonde sometimes. Okay. As I said, these may not resonate. They may not be the message for you that you need to hear. So just take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Um, please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. I would appreciate that and join my extended community. Would be very appreciated. If you already have done, thank you so much. Sending lots of love and support to you for doing that. Capricorn, what can we give to you for the rest of... Sorry. And so this will be a reading from between now um, to mid-September. One more card, please. You got two. Okay. We'll take what we've got. You guys have missed an opportunity somewhere. So, okay. I feel like this has got to do... We're getting a lot of, a lot of relationship readings for you guys. Everyone's going through stuff. Um... You've walked away from someone that was no longer serving you. Maybe an earth sign. Maybe a water sign. Um, you know, someone did the wrong thing by you. And I feel like you're the type of person that would just um, be like, nah, you did wrong by me once. That's it. Done. Cut them out. Don't want to deal with it again. So that's the kind of energy you're in. You're like, nah, I don't want to deal with this bullshit. So this is what's happened. Um... And it was a missed opportunity because this person was a very important relationship, I'm feeling, or it was a very important lesson you needed to learn, maybe. That could be another message. Um, but you guys chose yourself over this person, over this situation. Could be a situation for some of you as well. You chose yourself over this situation, walked away, and um, chose you, which is always a good thing to do. Always a good thing to do. And... Um, these two came out together. They came out together. So you guys, completely new beginning when it comes to you guys. Um, Magician talks about manifesting the desire and life that you want. Um, really thinking about what you want for the future, manifesting it to happen in your mind's eye and seeing it turn into your reality. And the fool talks about a completely new beginning, fresh hope, taking chances, new beginnings and travel. So travel could be in the cards for some of you. Um, but yeah, maybe it was an earth sign, an air sign that you dealt with as well. But um, yeah, it's saying you guys chose you, starting this new beginning for yourselves, really working on manifesting the life that you guys want to create for yourself and making that your reality. I feel like that was your really quick message, but that was what you needed to hear, straightforward happening. Maybe you're in the mindset of chopping and changing and deciding... Um, what you really want in your life and making it happen, taking the time to stand up and make it happen. Some of you could be even very spiritual because I'm doing your love cards right now. Oh, they came out so easy. And, um, yeah, you, you guys are so spiritual because, look, you got... Stand up, Capricorn. Come on. What are you doing? you got spiritual spirituality factor. Your love life is being affected by your spiritual spirituality and energy. Someone from your angelic team, your guides, your ancestors or your angels, made you wake up and you have gone through a spiritual awakening and has told you to leave this person because they were no longer serving you. But you are going to be award, rewarded because, look, it's even someone from your past coming back that you had a strong romantic connection with. Hello again, someone from your past is coming back. Could be someone you've missed and really manifested and wanted back in your life to have a second go at things with. It was a positive relationship. It wasn't a fuckboy from the past, so don't worry about that. Some of you could can hear feeling, I don't want that guy that cheated on me three years ago. Fuck that. I don't want that in my life. No, it's not that person, so don't worry. It's somebody good, someone you miss, someone you think about frequently, um, someone you really want a second chance with. And they want you too. I lust you with all my passion and being. They want you. It's mutual. It's happening. Reconnection from the past. Full steam ahead, guys. Full steam ahead. Positive times. 
You guys' messages are coming out so easy. It's just like bam, 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 bam. Sometimes they're hard and there's a huge story to it, but you guys are just like easy, easy breezy this month. Capricorn, stand up, please. It's your time. You're in the spotlight. Don't bow down. Don't bow down. Don't bow down. Don't bow down. Oh, I can't even speak. Don't bow down. Enjoy your moment in the spotlight. Accept it. Love it. All right, now we're looking at your career and finances. Oh, you guys got two career cards. So some of you are going through a... What is going on? Some of you are just hiding your head in the sand and not wanting to be in the spotlight. Some of you guys are depressed, aren't you? You're just like, nah, don't want to deal with anything. Depressed, hiding under a rock. Don't want to be seen. You need to get up, get in the shower, put your makeup on. Or if you're a guy, put your best... Why am I saying tracksuit? I don't know. That's weird. Um, best going out clothes on and just go out and enjoy life. Enjoy your friends. Um, take that step up. Look, he's stepping up on my crystal. So you guys really need to take the step up and start making yourselves feel better and look better. When we look better, we feel better. Some of you are walking into a career change though. You're about to be offered something shiny and new. It will bring you more abundance to your life. Embrace the change. So some of you are going to be... Oh, look, you've fallen over again. Need to keep picking you up, Capricorn. What's going on? What is going on? Maybe you're all stuck in this energy of walking away still. That's okay. Just take your time. You'll get there. You'll get there. I'm just going to leave you down because that's where you want to be, all right? So, yeah, some of you are literally walking into a new job, walking into a new career. And it's going to be nothing but abundant for you and bring you more abundance into your world. Some of you are beauticians, hairdressers, tattoo artists, because it's being reflecting, reflected here. Um, beauty, hair, tattooing, all come under body work and making people look and feel amazing. So you're really creative people, really enjoying your life that you've got, <laughs> your career um, and where your life's headed in that career. So keep it up. You're enjoying it. Love it. And when it comes to your finances, your luck is changing. The Wheel of Fortune. With the promise of good luck, the Wheel of Fortune often suggests a financial windfall or a surprise gift of money. So again, I do not condone gambling or anything like that, okay? So don't take this the wrong way. But when you get a card like this and you get a sudden windfall, that's when you need to go place a bet. That's when you need to put $10 in the pokies and see if you win. That's when you need to get that scratchy ticket. You're going to get luck in some form. Could be $10, could be $100. You don't know. You're getting what the universe wants to give you. But just know you're going to get a windfall of some sort, okay? Let's get your final message, which is your angel number. So with angel numbers, you could be seeing these numbers repeatedly. This is just your angelic um, team sending you a message. And you got 222, so soulmate karmic number as well has to do with balance, manifesting miracles, and auspicious and timely opportunities. See, new opportunities for some of you, new career change. Angel number 222 encourages you to take a balanced, harmonious, and peaceful stance in all areas of your life. This message is to keep the faith and stand strong in your personal truth. Again, see, walking away from not longer that, that that no longer serves you, bringing balance back into your life, into all areas of your life, and enjoying it, and just, you know, making yourself happy again, making your life good. I'm going to hold you up now and finish your message and just bringing beautiful balance and happiness and positivity back into your lives and focusing on you back in September, okay? I hope you enjoyed this message. Stand strong, stand in that limelight. Don't, ban don't bow down. Get out of your depression. Get out, get up, get dressed. Glow up. Enjoy your time. You're a beautiful soul. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.